everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mia, and if you're new here, make sure you guys subscribe and follow all my socials. So guys, today I have an exciting video, and I'm going to be showing you what is on my iPhone. I also would like to say thank you to Casetify for partnering with me on this video. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys, every time somebody asks me what case is on my phone, it is most definitely like 99.999% sure that it is a case to case because they are my favorite case brand. So when case to reached out to me to partner with me on this video, I was over the moon. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the cases. If you don't know what case to is, they are a popular iPhone case brand. They actually have pretty yet protective phone cases that you can use for your phone. And they have a variety of cases for everybody to choose from. And I'm sure you're going to find something that you like on there just because they have an endless amount of different designs that you can pick from. One thing that you guys should know about me is that I always have a protective phone case on my phone and Casify is my favorite brand to get protective phone cases from because they're very protective but then they're also stylish. Like some phone cases brands they are protective but they're all super bulky and clunky and they don't have any cute design. The Casify is actually protective and they come with cute colors. Now I promise you guys I am actually genuine in saying this. Before they reached out to me I actually owned multiple Casify cases of my own. Let me go grab them. These are my old Casify cases and I actually bought these on my own and these are some of my favorite cases and I always get compliments on them. So here are my new cases and these are my old cases. <laughs> On their website, you can find endless amounts of designs that you can choose from to pick a print or color to match your style. And you can also customize their cases with your name or monogram or whatever you want to. Their cases also support wireless charging. All cases are shipped to you in 100% recycled packaging. And I am actually going to show you guys how protective this is by doing a drop test for you because I trust this so much with my phone. I've dropped my phone endless times in case if I has always protected my phone. Hey guys, we are about to do the drop test. I just want to show you what my phone looks like. So, you know, screen's fine, back's fine. Now we're going to go throw it down the stairs. Oh, it didn't go. But it's fine. There we go. See, the camera's fine. Case is good. It's fine. So they sent me three cases, so I'm going to show you guys which ones I got. I got a mirror case, and then I also got two impact cases. So the mirror case has a five-foot drop protection, and it's made of 50% recycled materials. And then I got two impact cases. Impact cases has 6.6 .6 feet drop protection. It's made of 65% recycled and plant-based materials. The first case that I got, this mirror case that I customized to have my name on it at the bottom. Their mirror cases are actually reflective like a real mirror. You could literally look at yourself in the mirror, like you could see see yourself in the camera here. I personalized mine with my name, so I wrote Mia on the case. And then I got this purple case. I really like this one. It's all like flowers and stuff, and then I customized it to have a purple border. And then the last case that I picked is this pretty teal color. It says, your greatest growth comes from your darkest times. And I just really wanted a bright standout case, and I love how this one turned out with the look of it. You can go to casefy.com slash Mia Ritz for 50% off your purchase today. And you can get all the back to school essentials and pop with your phone case at school. Okay guys, so now I'm going to get into the what's on my iPhone portion. So I actually have the iPhone 11 right now, and yes, I know it's kind of an old phone, but you know what? It works sometimes. <laughs> Still a good phone, and I think it works fine. So I recently redid my iPhone to make it very fall vibe, so I'm hoping you guys like it. I worked very hard on it. Okay, when you first open my phone, uh, it's just a picture of me and my cousin um, from when we were in Disney World. When you open my phone, this is the first page you appear to. I have quite a lot of stuff going on on the front page. I like to have just all the stuff I need that I use the most just on the front page right where, there where I need to see it. Starting at the top, I have a Spotify widget, and it just shows whatever playlist you're playing. So I was actually listening to my Taylor Swift playlist because Taylor Swift just announced her new album that is coming now on October 21st, Midnights, and I am so, so excited. I mean, I quite literally screamed, may have cried some tears, forgot how to breathe. It was an emotional time. <laughs> so yeah, I just have my Spotify playlist in here. It's Spotify. The widget, it changes color based on which album you're playing. So let's say if I wanted to play my School Sucks playlist, and now that it's on the School Sucks playlist, it's a brown color based on what color is in the picture. So the first folder that I have is my watch folder. Now this is just basically all the apps I need to watch on my phone. So I have Netflix, I have Apple TV. I don't really use Apple TV that much. I just kind of have it for when I want to watch Ted Lasso. So good. And then Disney Plus, YouTube, HBO Max, and Prime Video. Okay, and then the next folder has quite a lot of stuff in it. It's socials. Um, so this is all the social media apps. Minus two of them, they're not really social media apps, but they're just related. So I have Snapchat, Instagram, and TikTok. If you want to follow me on Instagram, 
My username is Mia.Ritz. My username on TikTok is Mia Ritz. So go ahead and follow me on there. I'm trying to post a lot more frequently, so you want to stay connected, right? And then I have GroupMe. I know this isn't really a socials app, but it's kind of messaging. You're being social by texting people. But if you don't know what it is, it's just basically a messaging system. And then I have Pinterest. This is quite literally my favorite app right now. Actually, Hold that thought, it's my second favorite app. <laughs> I have been so obsessed with making Pinterest boards recently and I'm so obsessed with my feed. Like look, there's Taylor right there. And if you guys wanna follow me, I have tons of Pinterest boards that I have worked very hard on. I just spend hours going through them. So my username is at MiaRitz8, so go follow me on there. And then I have wish lists, which is basically an app where you can make different wish lists of like things you want to buy. Um, and technically it's supposed to be wish lists so your relatives know what to get you. But I just make these wish lists so I can just remember the links to the products that I'm planning to buy so I can like know what to budget out what I want to buy. So I have like self-care products that I want, room decor. Okay, and then this is a very new app and I am so obsessed with it. It is Shuffles by Pinterest. Um, if you don't know what it is, it's okay because it's relatively new. It is a new app by Pinterest where you can basically make collages from your Pinterest boards and pictures on Pinterest. This app, you need a code to enter. You have to get an invite code from somebody and it did take me a little while to find a code but I finally found one from somebody on TikTok so thank you so much like literally saved me. This is probably my number one favorite app. It is so obsessive. Then you can also post the collages back to Pinterest. So you guys can follow me on there. My username is MiaRitz8 so just follow me on there too. Okay this is my most crowded folder. I got a lot of stuff in here. And it's my editing folder because I do a lot of editing. So first of all I have iMovie it was just that normal Apple editing app. Shortcuts, I don't use shortcuts anymore. It's basically like where you can program um, little shortcuts so like you could tell Siri that you wanna go to the camera roll and then it'll take you there. And then I have Video Star. I used to use this a lot when I was younger but I don't really use it anymore. And then I have Lightroom. This is where I edit all my Instagram photos. It is a very advanced editing app, I could say, and it definitely takes some time to get used to. And I like this app because you can go in and edit individual colors so if you want to, you can make yourself like really tan. I mean, I don't really do that but you could <laughs> and then I have camera connect and that's just how I send videos from my camera to my phone and then I have sprocket and I have an HP sprocket printer this is how I send photos from my phone to the printer and then we have YouTube studio and this is basically for YouTube creators where you can look at your analytics and you can change the thumbnails and the tags and everything and then I have CapCut um, okay, I got this and I've only used it like one time. Basically, you can like do titles on here, so I don't really know. <laughs> and then I have Notion. Now, I have actually not set this up yet. This was a recent download, but I'm planning to use it further in the future. So just ignore that one. <laughs> and then on the next page, I have PixArt, which is the app that can pretty much do a lot. You can like cut out pictures of things and then paste it on different things. So let's say I wanted to take this picture of me and I could add a sticker on top of it. I could like search for like a butterfly and then we could put a butterfly on the picture. You know, you could just paste and collage it together. Fonto, this is where I like use all my text for my videos. I'll occasionally use text on my videos when I don't have Procreate available, but other times I'll just write my titles. You can add a picture and then you could tap on it and add text and you can also import different fonts that you want from defont.com. It's like hello and then you could change the font and you change the size and everything okay and then i just have mega which is just like iphone storage and then i have clips which is another apple app i don't use it so it's just on my phone and then i have lens buddy this one's actually really cool this is how you can take pictures on your own so you can set up your phone right here and you can get it to take multiple pictures without you touching the lens you can program it to however many pictures you want and then you can just save all the pictures you want. And I didn't have to touch the phone for any of it. The last is Lock It. It's basically where you can send pictures to your friends and the picture will show up on their home screen if they have the widget. So let's take this. And then I can just hit the send button and it will send off and it will appear on the home screens whether they like it or not. And that is all that's in my editing folder. Next, I have my listen and read section. So this is, was originally just all my music apps, but then I downloaded some reading apps and I didn't have a spot for them, so I just put them in the same thing. So first I have Amazon Music. This is what the subscription that my family has for their music app. <laughs> Nothing to it. And then SoundCloud is another music listening app. And I just like this one because like you can find smaller creators on the here. I don't really use this one too much. And then I have Kindle. On my phone, I use Apple Books. And then I have Spotify, which I've already explained to you guys, and Goodreads. This is just basically an app where you can make your 
to be read um, list and then you can have the books that you've completed and you can also show progress and change the progress on the books you're reading. And then the last folder on this page is my last resort folder. That's when all the internet's failed, I don't have any data, and I gotta play games. I have Leap Day. Um, this game's really fun. They have like new challenges every day or something. So you just like tap and, and then you just jump up. That's kind of fun. Okay, and then we have Rodeo Stampede, which is like one of my OG favorite games. Basically, you can like ride animals and then tame them and put them in your zoo. I would say I'm pretty advanced in this game, but then again, I'm only in the mountains. It gets very stressful because you want to tame the animals and then you like die. And then I'm going to talk about the widgets on my page. So in the middle, I have this um, widget from Top Widgets. That's the time. And you can download the app Top Widgets. What you can do, you can pick uh, whatever widget you want and you can make it transparent. So it looks like the clock is just sitting on your home screen because it's gonna match and it's gonna look transparent. And then I just have Widget Smith, which you could basically add like a photo to a Widget Smith and then put it on your home screen. So I have a lot of these. Okay, and then the next page is just my Apple Essentials page. At the top I have my battery life. So it will show like my phone percentage, my AirPods, headphones, whatever's connected to my phone. And then I have just all the basic Apple apps, settings, camera, clock, photos, FaceTime, weather, notes. And then in this folder I have a don't really use and that's just all the other ones. <laughs> Time tree is basically a shared calendar. I'm not gonna show you guys because it has some of my friends' dates and stuff. It's just so we could schedule like friend events. And then I have Govi Home, which just controls my LED lights. So I click on, they'll turn on. <laughs> okay, and then I have two widget smiths on here. Just this one of books, and then this one of like, it looks like a chocolate crepe with strawberries. Sounds good. And then the last page, I have school. Now I wanted to put this way out of the way and that is why it is on the separate page because I didn't want to have to look at it every day because it makes me stress and anxiety. I don't, I don't know. First I have the folder and this is called Not Pretty and it's because it doesn't match all the Microsoft apps that I have on the home screen because they have pretty covers. So I put these in here. I'm sure they're also pretty covers but they just don't match so I put them in a folder. <laughs> now that's just my OCD talking. So I have Infinite Campus which is just how we check our grades. Remind, it's how I text my teachers. Quizlet, Quizlet helps a lot. I make tons of study sets on here. Calculator and Kahoot. And my school uses Microsoft for our schooling. <laughs> so I have Teams, Outlook, OneNote, PowerPoint and Word, just what I need. The bomb bar, I have phone, Safari, messages, and emails, and this is just like things I use the most or I need to get to quickly. And if you swipe all the way over to the left, this is my search bar. So I have just some widget pictures and I have some favorite quotes that I like. <laughs> like one of them is Tinkle Does Not a Cartoon from Shower Me. I don't remember which book, but you know. And then I have my Google Calendar with all my stuff. So yeah, that is all I have on my iPhone. I hope you guys maybe got some inspiration for what you guys want to do on your iPhone. And I also hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to check out your own case by case and maybe purchase one because I highly recommend them. They are just the best. So thank you guys so much for sticking through this video and please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace out.